everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something huge, Skyreels 1. This AI video model isn't just good, it's redefining what's possible with open source tools. I've spent days testing its image to video magic, cinematic text to video outputs, and even pushed it to its limits on my rig. And let me tell you, this isn't just hype. By the end of this video, you'll see workflows so powerful, they'll make your jaw drop. But first smash that like button if you're excited about AI video tools and let's get started. So what is Skyreels? Let's break it down. Developed by Skywork AI, this model is fine-tuned for human-centric videos. Think Hollywood grade facial expressions, lighting and camera angle saw generated by AI. Unlike other open source models, Skyreels doesn't just animate faces it understands them. We're talking 33 distinct expressions, from subtle smirks to full-on rage, blended into more than 400 natural movements. And the results? Cinematic quality. Look at this side by side. Skyreels nails actor positioning and lighting, while others feel flat. But here's the kick of this, isn't just for pros. With the right workflows, even beginners can create stunning clips. Stick around because I'll show you exactly how. Before we go deeper, I want your take. What's your biggest struggle with AI video tools? Is it realism? Speed? Let me know in the comments and if you're new here, subscribe so you don't miss the workflows later. Dataset and tech. Skyreel's power comes from its dataset. The team trained it on a massive library of film TV clips, but here's the genius part. They used 3D human reconstruction tech. This means Sky Reels doesn't just see, pixel sit, understands space. In a scene like this argument, the model positions characters to reflect tension, animates their faces, and even correlates their outfits to the setting. It's not just faces either. The model recognizes MRO than 400 human actions, from a handshake to a sprint. Combine that with cross-modal analysis, and you get scenes that feel directed not generated. But let's talk about the training process. Skyreels uses a multi-stage pre-training pipeline. First, they adapt the model to the human-centric video domain using a massive dataset of film and television content. Then, they fine-tune it on high-quality subsets to ensure cinematic quality. This is why the lighting, composition, and camera angles feel so professional. Now, let's talk numbers. Skyreels the fifth one has been benchmarked against other top open source models like Videocrafter, 2.0 and Cog Video X Edian Rudian, and guess what, it's leading the pack. In the vBench evaluation, Skyreels scored an overall 82.43, outperforming others in key metrics like dynamic degree and multiple objects. This means, it's not just generating pretty video sits handling complex scenes with multiple characters and dynamic movements better than anyone else. For example, in this scene with two characters interacting, Sky Reels maintains spatial relationships and facial expressions flawlessly, while other models struggle with consistency. Now let's tackle the elephant in the room, VRAM. Most models like Hunyuan Video XDIT choke on consumer GPUs. But Skyreels, thanks to optimized weights and VAE tiling, you can run this on a 12 gigabytes GPU. I tested it on my RTX 3090. Here's the kicker, no crashes, even at 72 frames. Remember when I tried generating a 4K dance video last month and melted my PC? With Skyreels, that's history. Plus, multi-GPU support means you can scale up for complex projects. Let me show you how it works. Here's a quick demo of generating a four second video on my RTX 4090. With FP8 quantization and parameter level offloading, the VRAM usage peaks at just 18.5 gigabytes. That's insane for a model this powerful. And if you're running multiple GPUs, Skyreel supports context parallel, CFG parallel, and VAE parallel methodologies, making it super efficient for large scale projects. Time for the good stuff. Let's install Skyreels. Shout out to Kijai for quantizing the model. 
First, download the weights from Hugging Face, link below. Next, drag them into your Comfy UI Models folder. Update Comfy UI, trust me, skip this and nothing works. Install missing nodes when prompted. My first test was rough look at this flickering mess, but with Kijai's workflow, night and day. Pro tip, run Tcache or WaveSpeed for faster renders. Even on my rig, it takes five to seven M minutes, but the quality, worth it. Here's a quick workflow breakdown. Load the Sky Reels model. Set your resolution and frame rate. I recommend 544 times 960 at 24 FPS. Add your prompt don't. Forget to start with FPS negative 24. Adjust the guidance scale for more control over the output. Hit render and watch the magic happen. Now, let's take it up a notch. If you're feeling adventurous, try this advanced workflow with upscaling and smoother transitions. First, generate your base video using Sky Reels. Then use a tool like Topaz Video Enhance AI to upscale it to 4K. Finally, add some post-processing in DaVinci Resolve for cinematic color grading. The result? A professional quality video that rivals Hollywood productions. And the best part? You can do it all on a consumer grade GPU. Let's talk performance. I ran some tests comparing Sky Reels to Hunyuan Video Xdit on both the A800 and RTX 4090. The results? Sky Reels is 58.3% faster on the RTX 4090 and 14.7% to 28.2% faster on the A800. Here's the breakdown. On four GPUs, Sky Reels generates a four second video in 293.3 seconds, while Hunyuan video takes 464.3 seconds. On eight GPUs, Sky Reels crushes it with 159.43 seconds, while Hunyuan video can't even split the video sequence properly. This makes Sky Reels not just faster, but also more robust for multi-GPU setups. Let's be real until last week, this quality was locked behind paid tools. Sky Reels changes the game. If you enjoyed this, hit like, subscribe, and grab these workflows on my Patreon. I've even built an advanced version with upscaling and smoother transitions. Oh, and Skywork AI if you're watching, here's my wish list, better lip sync, and 4K support. What's yours? Drop it below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.